I think I'm beautiful. I think I have a right to be on stage and um, I think I add something quite special to any performance. I'm just an ordinary teenage girl who has to rely on other people and technology to live a normal life. I don't want them to look at me any different. I'm sitting down all the time, but apart from that, I'm still the same. When Barry was born, there was silence. They took me away and wouldn't let Mum see me. Rang my father and said, look, you've, you've had this uh, deformed child. Um, we think the best thing for him would be to take him away and put him in, a, in an institution and forget you had him. And then they whisked him away, which was very wrong. I feel good. I always just say to people, I'm an ordinary person. I look different because I got special, special needs. But I just enjoy life and get out there more. 18 American veterans a day kill themselves. It's estimated right now that 35% of the soldiers who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, and these are just American soldiers, are coming back with post-traumatic stress disorder. You lose your soul when you go to war. You lose your soul when you kill people. You lose your soul when, 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 when you see people die. They said, forget about it. You know, it's battle fatigue. It's, it's uh, shell shock. Forget it, it's over. Well, you can't forget about it. It's like every parent's worst nightmare, right? I mean, we're in a foreign hospital and my, my daughter's in the ICU on a vent and her body is not working at all how it should. Hands up, you gotta use them. One, two, three, up. Good job, Aria. She's a pretty tough girl. She's tougher than I am. Tell me what your name is. I'm Karen. Now I'm five. He just wants to do what every other little boy wants to do.